Look at this. I'm just gonna close my eyes the whole way. This is our last full day here in Italy and for the last day we're finally going to do the cable car. The only thing is that um, we're supposed to take the cable car up to Mount Fuito and the GPS I think is just taking us to the peak. You tell me. I feel like we're higher than Mount Vesuvius so that's the frustration with this GPS is that no matter what address we put it just it, it doesn't register I don't know so I, I instead of it taking us to the funicular it's taking us literally to the peak of the damn mountain so hopefully when we're up there we could just take the um, the cable car down then back up um, I wasn't planning on look at this look how high we are I wasn't planning on driving up here but we are, um, so let's see. Let's hope that this is the right place and we're going to the actual cable cars. I'm gonna look at you guys because I can't look down. Look at this. I'm just gonna close my eyes the whole way. I'm afraid to look. And this is when it gets scarier because as you can see, it's not the concrete anymore, it's wood. And these people are still going so fast down this mountain. Ay, ay, ay. We were supposed to take the cable cars up. We weren't supposed to drive. Okay, we have some concrete. <laughs> I feel better. Alright, so I guess we made it to the... Oh, we arrived at Monte Faito. Let's see if we can find the cable cars. Guys, this is how high we are. And we're still going. The GPS is saying one more minute. So I don't know if we may have to turn around and park somewhere. Alright, so there was no way that we were going to drive up this steep hill, so we parked right here and we have no idea if we can even park there. So I'm just going to go up and see if this is where we take the cable car. It's too quiet. I mean, if this is where the cable car is, I would think that it would be packed with tourists. I don't see anyone. Probably not even it. <sighs> we'll see. So guys, this is where the funicular is at the very top. So this is how high we are. And there's the beginning to the cable car to go up and down. So good news is we made it up to the cable car um, and we've been up here waiting a little bit. Um, we've already bought return tickets. Um, this is how it looks. And if you buy the return tickets, it'll say to go and come back. Um, the only thing I don't like is that we had to wait 40, we're still waiting, but it's like a full 40 minutes from when the cable car came up. People got off and we thought we could have been able to go in. It's not continuous. 
So it comes up and it waits here. You wait the 40 minutes, then you go back down. So I have a feeling that's how it's going to be down there also. We're going to have to wait 40 minutes to come back up. So we'll see. If anything, we'll have like some gelatos down there. Um, I don't want to have lunch because I want to have lunch up here with the view. So let's see. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long. I'm gonna be the last one so I can show you guys. See what I mean? There's no railing there. I would have lost my glasses. Alright, so maybe it was worth it. It was worth waiting a little bit. Um, thankfully, the guy let us go in. We were supposed to wait, but when I told him, we're coming right back. And he's like, okay, okay, come in. <laughs> so definitely come to Mount Faisal, table car. Now we're gonna go have some lunch. All right, so we're back in the car, headed back down the mountain. Um, at the entrance where you buy the tickets, um, one of the guys gave us a map and he showed us where the restaurants are as you go down the mountain. Um, if you are here on a not, not so cloudy day, then restaurant Belvedere would be the best restaurant to go to um, because you get the best of views, you're at the highest peak. But today is pretty cloudy, so we're gonna go a little bit, he said just keep going down the mountain until we go to, and it's right here in the map again, um, Hotel Risorante Conchalagre. So that's where we're gonna go. He says that's gonna be below the clouds and we'll get a better view of like the ocean and the mountains. So that's where we're headed to. Would you recommend coming? Scary. It was pretty scary. It was scary going up. And then we were hoping to get a smaller car. As you guys, if you watched my previous video, then you would know that we weren't able to get um, a certain car um, because we need an automatic, not manual. So we had to go to another car rental and they only had a Jeep. Um, you, I wouldn't recommend, try to get the smallest car that can fit your luggage. Of course, you don't want one of those little tiny Fiat's and even with two people and two carry-ons with two backpacks, it wouldn't fit. So um, we have a Jeep. So it'll go a little bit smaller than a Jeep and it wouldn't be so scary going up these mountains. Or maybe it would because it's so small that maybe the wind's gonna blow you off the mountain I don't know um, but I recommend coming it's scary but it's fine it's worth it so the website does say that it's eight euro each round trip but it's not it's actually 950 euro each for a round trip um, and I, I do recommend doing a round trip and if you are gonna have lunch with the views park in the bottom at Castel Mare 
Distavia. That's where you're going to get the funicular, uh, the cable cars to go up. But if you want to uh, trek, there's actually like horseback riding up here. There's um, guided tours that'll take you on some beautiful paths that you can see crazy scenes, uh, scenery. Then if you're going to do that, just go all the way up to the mountain and go to the peak where the cable car um, ends at the top or starts. I don't know, depending on where you are. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and try to find this um, restaurant and have some lunch. Guys, I wasn't lying when I said you're going to be up where the mountains are. I mean, where the clouds are. Look, there's a cloud. Look at that. I could literally, it looks like smoke, but it's cloud. That's crazy. Somebody burned. No, it's not nobody burning wood, Carlo. Look, guys, it's not burning wood. You see that yourself, right? You see it's all cloudy. There's no one burning anything. This is the clouds. Crazy. People really have that much stamina that they are biking up this mountain. When you're making your way down the mountain, I don't recommend on your way up, more like on your way down, it's easier to get off and um, stop it a lot. There's a, quite a few viewpoints. Um, we got off at this one, which I think we chose a good one to stop off. Look at this. Ooh, that's pretty scary. <laughs> ah. All right, look at that. Beautiful, look how blue. Make sure you stop. 